The Niagara River Lions are trading in their basketball shoes for safety boots today and helping out Habitat for Humanity Niagara in Welland. Today is a really exciting day here at our, our build at 246 Martin Street in Welland with Habitat for Humanity as our partners today for the entire day are the Niagara River Lions and uh, we're really honored to have them here to help us build this house and show us the other outstanding skills that they have. Habitat has built a majority of their homes here in Welland. In fact, this is the sixth home on Martin Street, but it's certainly the first time that a basketball team has been involved. Uh, both organizations thought that it would be a, a really good idea to have uh, two high profile organizations uh, partnering and uh, having some fun together, but reaching out and being able to help the community. Because there's a family that's waiting for this home to be built and they stepped up immediately and said, yes, we want to come and help you build this house. And they were here, here early this morning and right at it, they're learning how to operate the different equipment. Very enthusiastic and uh, ready to get it done, uh, team. River Lions coach Gross was enthusiastic to get involved, having a personal connection to the cause. My mom has a Habitat for Humanity house. Um, it was built in 2010. We've lived there since 2010. I was in the university until about 2014, so I've only lived there for about a year, but it, it's been great for us. It's been great for my younger brother. It's been great for them to have just a stable place where they can live, and um, I think that's been probably the biggest part of us moving to Canada. And how do you think the boys are doing so far? I think so far so good. We have some blue collar guys here, some guys that probably built the house before and probably used a saw or two, so I think they'll be fine. No cut fingers, hopefully. Can you tell us, Logan, how does it feel to be involved with this project? Um, it's really good to get out in the community as a team and um, help uh, with uh, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, doing a lot of good things in the community and it's fun to be a part of it. And what have you uh, learned is your best skill so far? Um, right now, I've just been carrying the wood back and forth, and other people are cutting it. We installed some stairs in the back, so maybe a little bit of everything. And I don't think you'll be needing to use the ladder too much today? No, that's one advantage that I do have. Uh, no ladder. <laughs> so I'm here with Adam from the River Lions, but you're known as Randy here on site. Randy, yeah. how does it uh, feel to be involved? It feels really good. I mean, uh, we do a lot of community service. This is the first time when we get to come out and uh, do some manual labor. and help a family that's in need out and uh, work on some skills that we probably haven't done before in our lives. What have you been up to today? Just got the Habitat for Humanity 101 and then now we're starting to cut some wood, uh, get this deck fixed up. We can move the stairs around back and um, we're excited to start drilling and uh, putting the screws in. Craig, can you tell us how's the team been doing so far on site here? Fantastic, yeah, really enthusiastic. Um, they're athletes, so they're not going to get tired today, which is fantastic, uh, unlike myself. But uh, no, they're doing great. They've already learned how to use the saw and working really well together. And it's great. They're not the first group that's going to get involved, and there's many coming up. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, so we run an Adopt-A-Day program. Through fundraising, you sponsor and you send a team. We do kind of a team building concept here. We work together, no experience necessary, and uh, that's how we get the house built, every aspect of it. They're doing the decks today. We did the uh, back deck on Friday and another crew to come and kind of finish up whatever we don't get done um, here today. They'll be here tomorrow. There's a, a really large demand for, for the portable homes like we built and uh, we've been able to build at a pace of somewhere around five to six homes a year, which is quite a challenge for us, but we really keep pushing ourselves to achieve that and proud to say that we've sort of crossed over a significant milestone with this house. So this is home number 51. Now Habitat Niagara is always looking for more donors, partners, volunteers and sponsors to help continue build homes for these deserving families in Niagara. Please visit HabitatNiagara.ca for more information. In Welland for The Source, I'm Katie Sinclair.